What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we're talking about Halo Infinite and discussing the new update to the ranked arena playlist that was just dropped by 343 and Tashi, who is the head of esports. In this video, we're going to talk about the overall update, as well as giving the positives and the negatives on the impact of this update, as well as some possible fixes that we could see that could address the current state of rank going forward for Halo Infinite throughout Season 4 and in the future. But if you like these quick news update videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. So firstly, when looking at Tashi's comments and the actual post that this is on 343, is on Halo Waypoint currently, really directly right to the fans and saying that they we are trying to address all the major issues that are currently there when it comes to rank so essentially when tashi posts this update he is saying that if you are a 1500 or you are an onyx player you are going to be unable to search a match with more than two people in your lobby so you won't be able to do a three person squad or a four stack and if you try to you'll just get an error message and that means that you can't search with people who are diamond level you can't search with people who are silver platinum whatever it may be and you have to play in a solo or duo queue and i think a lot of people have been looking at the situation and have been feeling uneasy about whether this is a good thing or a bad thing going forward and i've seen a lot of mixed reviews about this now overall when i think of the good i think that this means that it creates the onyx tier of ranked playlist to be a lot more competitive compared to what it used to be and i think that a lot of people are misunderstood that i don't think this is necessarily a complete negative and a lot of a lot of people would say to me that you know this is going to hurt the game going forward it's going to destroy the game going forward but i think that what this does for ranked is it now makes it more based on your individual skills skill and your ability to communicate with anybody. It protects those people who, who do solo queue, who do have duos and not have a squad of four to be able to go and just dominate arena. And I think a lot of people are looking at this in more of like a negative term and there's, they're going after those who are like, oh, if you're just a solo screamer that you're trying to ruin all of Halo matchmaking. I think that's a little outrageous. I think overall three for three is trying to increase loading times for games get as people playing as many matches as humanly possible and hopefully find a perfect combination of more than one person and i think that this does help if you're a more of a solo queue or a duo this definitely does give you a lot more a chance or ability to play in ranked and not get clacked by four stacks anymore. now when it comes to the bad and the negative of this update i think the biggest issue that a lot of people are really addressing is that now it really limits who you can play with and the problem i see right away is that level of 1500 CSR, which is the entrance into Onyx League, because remember, first thing first, Onyx is roughly around that close to 5% or 4.5% officially hitting around that 13 to 2,500 players of Halo right now would be impacted by this change. Meaning that if you're a Diamond 6 and you just jump right into Onyx, like you, you won a bunch of games with your friends and now you're in, in Onyx League, you technically can't play with your friends anymore if they're still in Diamond. And I think that is something that a lot of people were frustrated with because, you know, th th there's a fine line between Diamond 6 and Onyx and even Diamond 5 and 4 and Onyx. I mean, they're, they're really not that far away from each other. So that is the biggest problem I see right away because it's, it's really counterintuitive you're you're restricting players to that want to play a social game with others and i know that you're playing arena ranked arena which is more of a kind of competitive side of halo and you want to say hey you know it's not social matches if you want to go play social then go play arena quick play go play big team battle go play squad battle I get it. I know that there's those people that say that, but at the same time, like if you want to, if you're more into ranked, you're more into that competitive nature and you have a, a crew of friends that you want to play with and you get into Onyx. Like for example, I have a squad of three, the Marsman crew that we go and play Halo all the time. And if we we're trying to ride in ranked and I get into Onyx and I'm a, I'm a mid tier diamond player. I've gone to Onyx in multiple players throughout Halo Infinite, but if I got into Onyx and you know my squad is not in Onyx, that means I can't play with them anymore. I mean, I have to play solos. And yeah, that might impact the way we play and we might not jump into ranked as often because yeah, we when we play Halo together, we wanna play in matches together. We don't wanna limit what one person does compared to what everyone else wants. I think that's kind of the issue here. And on top of that, you know, a lot of people have said that you know, when you play against randoms, a lot of times they don't really feel incentivized to communicate. They might just play on their own and do their own thing. And that's not really a team attitude it's not really going to help you get the win and a lot of people just say well that means you got to carry the team on your back like you know sometimes it's hard to do that in, a, on, in an onyx lobby like everyone kind of needs to do their part need to do their role and sometimes when you team up with people your communication level is on point and if you're playing against, playing with randoms 
that might not be the case here. And I think it just would cause people to not play ranked as often because now you're de-incentivizing the idea of team play. And, and, and if you need an example, go look at Overwatch. Overwatch 2 used this same policy and it caused a lot of people to not want to play anymore. They they lost that aspect of having a squad and, and playing together and having fun and just ranking up and and seeing how far they can go. And I think that is a big problem because the people who are getting to Onyx level are probably more dedicated players compared to others. I mean, Onyx is not an easy level to get to, and that means you have to play a lot of Halo to get there. That's going to cause a lot of issues or rift between those ultra competitive players that like to team up with friends, and it's gonna hurt a lot of people's you know feelings toward this game. I think there's a lot of people out there that are, are excited about this, there's people that are not, and I think the biggest thing that we need to do is Discuss some possible solutions. I mean, and I said this in a tweet before, I think it's important for us to like look at the good and the bad and give feedback on what we think is the best path. And I don't think right away, I think that what's important is that there's a lot of different takes on what's the best way to fix this situation. You got people like Uber Nick who talk a lot about maybe raising the tier to a different level. I think right now, currently, since it's 1500, it's the start of Onyx and Uber Nick made a good point. Maybe increasing the level to a higher spot making it where it's almost like the more elite tier of Onyx that get affected by this and it means that they they are getting judged instead of it being like 1500 maybe we raise it to 1700 1800 so it's more refined and it really will be like maybe the top 2.5 percent of Halo Infinite players instead of it being like lower Onyx it's more like higher mid-tier Onyx players but they can still play with diamond tier players like I mean at the end of the day like 1500 comparing itself to diamonds four that's not that far away so by you making it right off the gate start of 1500 is really drastic and on top of that maybe even having modifiers that will drastically change the amount of csr gained and lost based on the type of team makeup that you have like for example if you have one team of a four stack and another team made up of two duos those duos should get more points for winning and be punished less for losing because they are not made of a complete team of four or if your team of four is playing against a solo and a trio or two solos and a duo like all these things mean that you should be rewarded or if you beat a squad of four or if you lose to a squad of four you should not be as impacted by a loss because of the fact that that squad of four has more communicative abilities they have more teamwork intertwined in how they play the chances of you solo queuing with four solos versus a four stack is down i've i've won matches against four stack before being a solo queuer at time but at the same time i can understand the frustration that people have that why is it that the impact of losing a match against Against a four stack is as bad as it currently is with a negative 12 to your CSR. Like, I don't know if this is a glitch or this is a something that 343 doesn't realize is going on, but right now in ranked, if you were to win a match, it's only plus four to your CSR. And if you lose a match, it's negative 12. So I can win three straight games in a row and all of a sudden lose one game and all that progress I just had gets wiped away. And I think that there should be modifiers for the entirety of this ranked playlist. There should be modifiers that are impacting your score based on how well you do in your match, as well as are you playing against a four stack, a three stack, whatever it may be. And this should happen for every single tier so that it's not impacting you if you're playing out, you're playing out of your ass. You're playing, you're playing incredible and you somehow lose a game because you have two randoms that suck ass on your team. Like you shouldn't be destroyed. Your CSR should not be gone completely for one loss that someone quits your match and something like that happens. Like there should be more modifiers added to this. And even other options that I've seen Content creators like Kevin Kulex had mentioned that you already have a very refined matchmaking system that has been put into place this whole time. I think just continue letting it work or even utilizing the MMR more often to help match teams against each other. And I know currently Tashi had said that they are trying to increase the difficulty of if you're playing against a four stack, they're looking to great. Really, the opposite team will have higher ranked players to balance out the difficulty of winning against the four stack. And I think it will help. But I do agree the fact that like if you if you continue adding like these modifiers and you really use what Tashi said or and you use what Kevin Collect said, I think he said it best. That's the most frustrating part for me when it comes to the matchmaking experience within Halo ranked experience is that a lot of times you just get teams that are just clearly not balanced and you take that L even though you performed well. You want to say that these solo cures like sometimes like I think the system does struggle at times you might get players that should not be in this tier fighting they should not be in this game on your team or on the opposing team 
And sometimes they, they go through the cracks. Like, I, I think that Chemical X is right. There have been times I've played in games and there have been dudes on my team that should not be playing in this ranked lobby. Like, they should not be playing on the same team as me. And I'll be sitting there losing my mind that we lost the match. And I, it's because of a random that is shouldn't even been there. And I think the key notes we need to walk away with here is that I, I understand that there needs to be adjustments made to this current system. I think there are some good things that are here for Halo Arena ranked, as well as some negatives that need to be addressed. And I think Tashi is trying to make these adjustments because they are trying to allow newer players or players that do not have a squad to be able to compete against those that do. And right now, this is an initial idea. I think people are jumping the gun. They're telling me that this is the end of, end of all days. Halo is dead. Halo is broken because of one thing that Tashi said he was going to make, try to make an adjustment. This is not the final kind of niche in this entire discussion. This is a, an initial idea that it's important for us to give feedback on what we feel about this issue or this update and we'll see adjustments happen especially because tashi mentioned it this is just a start we're not this is not the final stage of this entire thing and that's why i think it's important for us to kind of learn from mistakes of other games that have done this too like for example look at overwatch look at call of duty look at other competitive games around and say all right how do their systems work how do they adjust for these types of situations and how could halo now adapt to these like looking overwatch fail in certain ways how can we avoid failing how can we look at call of duty's ranked and say yeah there are some things that it does well some things that it fails i think it's important for us to kind of look at other games and say all right let's see what they do let's see what we do and let's make adjustments for there but this is not the end of the world and if we give feedback in the right way we don't just start crying our eyes out saying this is the end all be all we give actual feedback then we'll see actual results and what could be done for this game and i think that's the key thing to take away from this but what do you think about the update that three for three had dropped about the rank playlist do you like the ideas that tashi had proposed do you have any ideas yourself about what would you do for this rank playlist let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this type of content make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content until next time this is marsman signing off peace out guys <laughs>